It has been a very long time since the City Hall has received any substantial infrastructural repairs. Many financial commitments have been made to the repairs, including from the international organizations. However, the building, one of the oldest and most nostalgic in Guyana, is collapsing around its inhabitants. Kaicho News is reporting that at a recently held statutory meeting of the council, town clerk Royston King informed the councillors that they have been warned that the building is becoming uninhabitable. Last week, a part of the region street side of the building fell off. Town clerk King is quoted as saying, the building is in a state that we can no longer continue. King said that a piece of canvas in the roof is all that is preventing storm waters from coming through the ceiling and into the building. However, Mayor Patricia Chase Green is saying that the council has no money to move out. I am being frank. We cannot afford it, Green said. She also said that the million dollars that would be charged for rent can be used to buy their own building. The town clerk and the mayor both highlighted the quandary that the council faces. King is saying that they have to move, while Green is saying that if they move, the building will deteriorate more rapidly. Mayor Green said, I would not like to know that one day someone is coming downstairs to pay taxes and a piece of metal or wood or window frame falls down. This is why we have to look at it seriously. In late 2016, the European Union announced that a consultancy firm would spend $8 million Guyana dollars to conduct a feasibility study for a comprehensive restoration of the building. It was supposed to take four to six months. Thus far, there have been no status on this study. City Hall was opened in 1889, has three floors, and stands 29 meters, or about 100 feet high. For Channel 2 Headline News, I am Wendell Jeffrey.